Before we begin, it is important to understand that changes will be made to your PC's existing IP configuration in order to properly communicate to the 3706A from your PC. You're responsible to return all settings back to their original configuration prior to reconnecting the PC to a corporate network. Failure to do so could result in network connectivity issues and a loss of data. Welcome to getting started with the 3706A on Windows 7. We will be configuring Ethernet communications through a dynamic IP address. After the configuration, we will be able to contact the internal web page of the instrument and remotely control the instrument. First, click on the Windows button. Mine is in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Now, in the middle of the right-hand side, note Control Panel. Click there. Now we'll be looking for Network and Sharing Center. Click that. In the top left hand corner of this window, we want to go to Change Adapter Settings. Click there. Now do not click Local Area Connection. We're looking for your wired connection here, but if you double click, it has shown to freeze some systems. So right click and go down to Properties. In this window, we're going to be looking for the TCP IPv4. Click that and then select Properties. Once in there, notice you have used the following IP address with an IP address, a subnet mask, a default gateway. Below there, there are the preferred and alternate DNS servers. Please write all these down because you will need these later for restoring your network connections the way they were and so that you do not cause any network issues. Now, for the way we're using it, please select the button for Obtain an IP address automatically and select Obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK. Now we can close out of local area connection properties. Click Close, and this may take a second. After that closes, close the control panel. We can now go to the 3706A as your computer is all set up. Now we are going to configure the 3706A to obtain an IP address automatically by performing a LAN reset. First, click the menu button on the bottom row of the 3706A. Using the navigation wheel, scroll right to LAN. Press enter or press the navigation button to select. Now scroll over to reset. Again hit the navigation button or press the enter button. Press enter once again on yes to select LAN reset. Now press the exit button a few times to get back to the main screen. Now we will connect the cable from the back of the instrument to the laptop. Now the 3706A is configured. Let's physically connect to your PC and the 3706A using the supplied crossover cable. It's the yellow Ethernet Cat5e cable in the supplied kit. First, connect to your computer using the computer's active LAN port. Next, connect the other end of the crossover cable to the LAN port at the top of the 3706A. Do not use the TSP link connectors that are also RJ45 on the bottom. Now you're connected. Please wait for the settings to take effect. Once they do take effect, the LAN status LED indicator light will turn on. After that, press the menu button on the front panel. Scroll over to LAN using the navigation wheel again and press the button or hit enter. Hit enter upon status and enter on IP address. Note this IP address that has associated itself with the computer. We'll be using that to type into our web browser to connect to the internal web page of the 3706A. Now, using the Windows button or your taskbar, open a web browser on your PC. I'll use Internet Explorer. In the address bar, delete what was there and type in the address you got from the front panel of the 3706A. Here, it was 169.254.0.1. Press enter. Now, note you will see the internal web page of the 3706A.